Hey, it's Joel. I'm in Spring Break Capital of the World, <laughs> New Orleans. And I'm here with my buddy Gnome from Make Good. Thanks for being here. Dude, yeah, it's, it's, oh, awesome. it's a pleasure, man. It's a pleasure because you do rad things. Okay, what are the three things we're gonna concentrate on today? So we're gonna look at 3D printed straps. What? We can 3D print straps out of TPU, regular TPU. Second thing, we're gonna look at how to put together large assemblies of 3D printed parts that are printed on regular printers to make a bigger object. Okay. And we're gonna use no glue. The third thing we're doing is special 3D printed cushions. Yeah, I got one here too. Foaming TPU. Foaming TPU. I think this material is really cool. It's almost like a memory foam and it's crazy squishy. Wow. And then just pops right back into place. So yeah. we'll have to put that to the test. We'll put okay. it to the test. We've got three different 3D printable design principles from Gnome. Yes. That we're gonna put to the test. All right, let's get to tested. Let's do it. Come on, come on. Right. Rawr, rawr, rawr. The first thing we're gonna test are these straps. That's right, fully 3D printed straps. 3D printed straps! This is just regular 95A TPU. Okay, this is a cookie okay. cad color here. Okay, okay. Nice and strong. It Wait really, a minute. It really that is, is strong. That is phenomenal. Yeah. Are you seeing this? What's even better is you can do really long lengths on a regular build plate like this. Cause you're just spiraled up here. Yeah, it just spirals up and it's really versatile. Okay. You can do all sorts of different heights and widths. Um, and really long length. So this is long. This is, per well, and also the, the print orientation here means that the force is being pulled. It's along the fiber. It's along the fibers. Yeah. It's along the extrusions. You're yep. not pulling layers apart. That's exactly right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Can we take one of these off though? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. How long is this supposed to be? I think it's like almost six meters. <laughs> And it's not even taking that up that much of the plate. No, it's not. Okay, I'm gonna- You wanna get the... started there? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, we'll see you later. I'm st <laughs> still going. There you go. No, this was one build plate. Well, this is totally great for kids, but how are we gonna test whether or not this is up to our standards? Right. What, what's the plan? I think we gotta do some body weight testing. We're gonna put the full, the full Joel against it. The full it. Joel against the full it. Joel, Joel against versus Strap. There he goes. Look how long it's this long. is. This is. It's long. How much filament I, was this? I think it was under 100 grams. This is under yeah, 100 it wasn't, grams it wasn't of much. TPU. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, we've established that this is a strong material. Um, it's it's very stretchy, and uh, it's not breaking. We do have more straps. Do you want to see if we could actually, if I could do a pull up? with TPU straps? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is doubled up. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that totally worked! We've proven that 3D printed strapping is good. Dude, that is fantastic. we're gonna test the way that we can join parts together to make large assemblies, right? right? And you wanna make right. them sturdy and strong and able to hold a kid safely. Yeah. How yeah. do you do it? So this is a really amazing technique that combines two smaller parts into a larger part using internal joinery and a specially designed peg. Oh. And this is uh, really uh, spearheaded by our good friend at Link named Skyler. He's an amazing designer. Thanks, Skyler. And he came up with this truly revolutionary way of thinking about how these pieces go together. Okay. And it's inspired by Japanese woodworking joinery. These intricate joints are made and then a yeah. peg is pushed in and all of a sudden, without any sort of uh, adhesives or a mechanical connection, it's just like, it's just in there. It's so, in there. And so then, we can do this with 3D printing. And we can do it even to the next degree with 3D printing because our pegs can be special shapes too that you wouldn't use with wood. So it, it, it's even stronger, you know, it, it yeah. creates a really tight connection. Um, and so right here we have two pieces of the wheel that we're gonna make for our mobility trainer. Okay. And this is uh, how we make all wheels. All the wheels have four sections each and they have our TPU tires that slide on top as well. Oh, that's right, okay. Yeah. So yeah. then let's join it together. Go let's ahead, it. yeah, let's oh, do it. Okay. Just like that? Just like that. And then okay. you take the peg. And I take the peg. And your trusty rubber mallet the there. Your trusty rubber mallet. Give it the business. Oh, okay, there we go. That was quick. And so that is, <laughs> Really strong, really nice. That's a really good connection. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like really it's good. in there with pressure. And that's how pieces like this then 
all get put together because these are really large pieces. Again, yeah. just printed on machines like we yep. have here, but, but then assembled. Slot fit with a couple pegs and all of that geometry is designed in 3D to fit perfectly together to make a really strong, rigid composition. Gonna make big, strong parts, but in order to test it, we need, we need something heavy. And I think I'm gonna put my body on the line, but as far as the test platform goes, I need this, the fully assembled mobility trainer wheel. That's right. And I'm thinking if you and someone else hold it, I can sit on it. Let's try it out. Let's try it, all right. All right, you ready? Yeah, I think so. Okay, here we go. I'm re we're okay. ready. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it worked! Nice and strong. And the kids in these mobility trainers, they're not my size or shape, so <laughs> I think this passes. Let's do the next one. Let's do it, let's go. The last thing we're gonna test is uh, the seats. Yeah, the seats. And what about these is specific in the design principle you followed? So uh, it's about using the materials to their maximum use. Okay. And we chose for the seats this really cool material called TPU Aero, also known as foaming TPU. Foaming TPU. It foams at the nozzle, and there's a lot of air entrapped in the filament as it prints. And actually, the slicer said this is about 500 grams, but in actuality, it's about 250 grams. So it's doubling oh. in volume, basically, as it's printing. Okay, yeah. this is really cool. Like, it's soft. It's very it's soft. so soft. It's like a memory foam. And it, it does like, feel like, like a memory foam. It snaps back into place if you crunch yeah, it yeah. up. It's I mean, very it's durable. It's yeah. chair. And the white one, same thing? The same principle with this. Um, what's really cool about this material and this whole class of materials is if you change some of the parameters, that being the speed and temperature, you get different mechanical properties. So That's cool. This one's a little bit stiffer, but it has you know the same infill patterns and things. It's more dense because of the oh. change in temperature where we printed it at. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you can really achieve a whole different range of characteristics with one material. So with foaming TPU, are there any considerations as to the machines that can print these? Yeah, it's a great question. So these are all printed on bamboo machines, X1s and A1s. It needs to be fed in without the AMS. It's a pretty flexible TPU. Oh, so it, it's like pushing a rope if a, you're using the AMS, A little right? bit, yeah. but it can, if you feed it directly into the extruder, it works no problem. Well, these are soft, cushy, comfortable, but they serve a purpose, and I think one of the ways that we could test their their squishiness and their softness would be if we hit each other in the hand with a mallet. <laughs> Bring it on. Oh, that's not bad. Hit them harder, do it again. It. I didn't even, that is. It's, do it's doing a good job. That's doing a, re okay, now the white one. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Oh yeah, hit, hit me harder than that. I can barely feel it. Really? It's really good. Great Scott. Okay, I expected some level of, of discomfort, but generally to be protected, but this was surprising as to how good this worked. It really bounces a hammer back. I mean, yeah. it really does a good job uh, deflecting the force and dissipating it. And I'm sure the gyroid, that, that surface also helped deflect in the force. But yeah. it's really cool if you use different densities of infill and different number of shells, you're gonna get different properties that are yeah. more dense and less dense. So Here it's wait. really up I got to a, you. I got a quick idea. Okay, hit me. I'm hitting him pretty hard. I mean, I'm not, I'm not not hitting him. That's amazing. Pretty good, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, so these prove to have worked. Yep. I know there's this little girl that needs that yeah. trainer. Why don't we go assemble that? Let's do it. And the build is done. Look what we did, now. done, we did it. We did it. This is amazing. And it really showcases incredible 3D printable design principles yep. that make something that's, that's safe and effective and fun for kids that need to use this. Like these wheels are super strong and the slot fit construction really was a lot stronger than I was expecting. And that seat is is comfortable, but also like really impact resistant. Like it works. Yeah, it's supportive too. It's super supportive. Uh, and then also what's really cool, the straps. You know, this is something we've been experimenting with and I think just work super well. They're waterproof, totally customizable. I couldn't believe and it. And all of this whole thing can be done on a regular consumer printer. And that's think, just really cool. I think that's the important part to really relay to everybody out there who's watching this. Like you at home, if you have a 3D printer, you have the ability to make one of these. 
So how much filament was it roughly in this build right uh, here? It's about seven spools, six uh, PETG, and one TPU. And what material is it? So this is all Cookie CAD products, and we absolutely love the colors. They're so kid friendly. It's really fun. <laughs> They're adult friendly too. These it, are great colors. They man. are. And um, these are all printed on donated Bamboo Labs machines. So thank you to Bamboo Labs for generously donating the machines, and thank you Cookie CAD for oh. donating the filament. I'll, I'll say it again. Cookie CAD and Bamboo Lab, thanks for making this possible with Make Good. Yeah, absolutely. We this couldn't is, do without our partners. Well, and this is this is obviously something that's going to be better for the kids that need to use it, yeah. right? This really speaks more to personality and fun and them, uh, even even the, the design principles here make it easier to move, right? That's right, and it really fits in with their lives. You know, it's not, it's not sterile like we see other, we see, um, other kinds of assistive technology. This is really designed to be fun for the kids and for their friends. It creates something that's exciting for everybody at school, everyone at home. And what we found, it really destigmatizes disability for these kids really? and their friends. Yeah, it becomes much more um, something to celebrate. And who is this going to? Uh, this is going to our, our sweet friend, Little Bacon, who has received a wooden version of this chair many years ago um, and has grown up and now ready for this bigger one. And we couldn't be more happy to support her and her family. They're really uh, big parts of our Make Good community here. And um, they're gonna be evaluating this and testing it to make sure it, we are making the design as good as possible before the public release. And we're designing this with our partners at Tom Global and Link, an industrial design company in Denver. And we're working the last few percentages of the design to really get it dialed in so it's a good experience to print, assemble, and to use. No, this is this is really cool. Little Bacon's gonna love it. And honestly, your work's cut out for you, man, because <laughs> so many families are gonna want this. How do you envision Make Good being able to scale to serve everybody that is gonna want one? Thank you. When the files are complete, we're gonna be working with our partners at Bamboo and their Maker World team to host this on Maker World and make it really easy for anyone to download and print for themselves. Oh, so they could get it from you or they could go to Maker World, download the files and print one for themselves or their friends too. That's right. Ah, That's the right. community, it's helping community the community, community right? Yep. Ah, this has been an amazing journey, not just in 3D printing and design principles, but in providing something that really is going to give joy. Yeah. And I'm just so happy about that. And you made it along in this journey. Thanks for watching. If you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in and print all of the assistive things. Print the colorful things. Print the wonderful print things. Print the fun things. Print the fun things. And as always, high five. You high five. Yeah. Yeah.